Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? No Zoop for you here, and wow. It, it really has been quite a while since I've done a video. I guess I was on sabbatical, short hiatus, call it whatever you want to call it, soul searching, uh, palate cleansing, I don't know. But I just needed a break. Uh, everybody needs a break every now and then, and to be quite honest, uh, I really haven't been playing World of Warships as much as I used to. It's just, uh, it's strange. It, it feels like a completely new game right now. So, uh, as the title of this video goes, uh, New Year, New Game. And I, I don't know that that's better or good, even. I mean, it, it's strange. So, I, I had this conversation on one of my more recent streams in which I, I asked. I said, hey, if you're an older gamer, you know, 35, 40, and up, and you've been playing World of Warships for a long time, do you feel that this game has left you behind? And what I mean by that is, the, the game used to be very relaxed, very chill, and I think that's what drew a lot of uh, older gamers to it. They like the more relaxed attitude of the game, they like to be able to just go out there and shoot ships. And as of late, I, I feel we've lost the ability to do that. You can't just go out there and shoot ships anymore. Uh, HE spam was kind of the start of it, and things have just devolved to the point where it, it's an absolute mess. You've got to worry about submarines, aircraft, super ships, all, all this random stuff that has taken that relaxation element out of this game. You have to constantly play on your toes. I mean, it's not at the level of a first person shooter, but it, it's gotten to the point where I think a lot of older players or veteran players are just like you know what this is too stressful i played this game because i enjoy it you know more, more of a co-op type of game and now it's just become something way way different uh so i think that's really one of the reasons why i haven't been playing as much lately that and uh call of duty's really kind of piqued my interest uh war again i i do enjoy that and i don't mind twitchy games I enjoy Warzone a lot. I go out there with my squad, get those, get those wins, and that's fun. But it's just been busy around uh, Christmas time and New Year. Got a lot going on here at the homestead. Uh, our dog passed away sadly. We we decided to put her down. Uh, Ellie, she was 12 and a half. We absolutely loved her. She's 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 the best dog ever. Uh, absolute best dog ever. Uh, you know she she's so good around our kids and we just we found out she had uh, kidney issues it just happened like that just really really quick uh, we, we went we boarded her for Thanksgiving came back uh, she was okay I mean we noticed before we boarded her that she wasn't eating that well we went up to visit family and when we picked her up she ate for maybe a day and then she just slowly stopped eating we took her in to get looked at uh they did blood work everything else and they just said she's in renal failure and i guess with dogs it's a lot different than cats you know dogs they just go really really quick whereas cats can survive with it for a while so we tried to give her a pain pills medication to help her eat take care of her nausea but after about a week, it was it, it was evident that that was just a band-aid. It wasn't going to help. The doctors, the vets said that there's probably something underlying as well, like kidney cancer. And after after seeing her not eat at all for an entire weekend, we, we just made the decision that it was probably best to put her down. We we didn't want her to suffer. We didn't want her to watch her devolve to the point where she couldn't eat and was losing just massive amounts of weight. Um, so we wanted to, we just kind of wanted to go out while she was still herself and not absolutely miserable and putting a dog down is probably the hardest thing that I've ever done. Uh, I don't want to have to do that again for a long time. Um, and I'm sure those of you that are dog owners out there, uh, know that as well. So I kind of segued into that, but just explaining why I haven't been around and, you know, we're, we're coping with that. I think it was hard, a lot harder on my wife after the fact than me. I mean, you know, this this is a member of the family. We've had her since before we were married. And now she's just not here. And fortunately, my kids are so young, they probably won't remember it. My son, have, my son hasn't even asked. Uh, my daughter, of course, you know, uh, about a week later, she's like, where's Ellie? And, you know, that's another hard thing, having to tell your kid that, 
dog's gone forever. You're never going to see her again, whatever. But um, I don't know. I just wanted to bring that up because it's something significant that happened over the break. Uh, so back to World of Warships on the on the happier things. Um, again, going talking about just how, uh, new year, new game. It it does feel a lot different than it was before. I I know a lot of my followers, uh, a lot of people I know have, and a lot of friends haven't been playing the game as much as they used to. But if if you're a newer player, if you've only been playing for you know a year or two, you probably don't even notice. You know, you probably, if you're enjoying the game now, it's because you don't notice. And you haven't been here for five years. You, you don't know how different the game is now than it was before. So, I guess in a way, ignorance is bliss. It's it's changed for us veterans, but for you new players, this is all you know. You got in here, and the game you see now is what you've always known. And you, you probably, if you've been playing for a year... And it's kept your interest for a year. You probably like what's going on. You probably like submarines. You probably like how aircraft carriers are. You probably like these super ships. And all the little gimmicks that are going on. You you know nothing else. But for those of us that have been playing since the beta. The closed beta. And even the alpha. Uh, th this is just a completely different game than what we signed up for. You know. Like one of my followers. He said he's, he's bought every single premium ship. And he hasn't touched the game in several months. It's just gotten to the point where it's lost its fun. And I mean, co-op's good every now and then, but it's only so fun so often. I mean, you can't... Well, I take that back. I know there are some players out there that play co-op exclusively, have got thousands and thousands of games under co-op, but I, I can't do that. I, I'm too competitive to play against bots only. I need to have that real player interaction and the satisfaction of knowing that that individual that I sank is another real-life human being playing and that I have bested someone else out there. And I think that's why a lot of players do that or play first-person shooter games. I mean, there's some people out there perfectly fine playing against bots and I, I don't have anything against you or begrudge you. And in a way, you're probably smarter than we are because you're probably still enjoying the game despite all the changes. It, it hasn't changed much for you. But that's just not me. I can't, I can't do that. I, I have to have that interaction with other individuals and the feeling that, hey, I, I either took out someone that was better than me or someone that was equal or I got five kills against human players sitting at their little desks doing what I'm doing. There's, there's just an aspect to that that I think it's that hunt, that hunter instinct in us that we need to feel that craving. You know, it's, uh, it goes back to the dawn of time. And I think a lot of us, well, in, in modern society, we've suppressed that. And there's really no way to get that out unless you are a hunter or a fisher. You go out and, uh, you know, hunt deer or whatever. But for the vast majority of us, you know, this is the only way we can get that stress out. So I think for many of us, that's the reason why we like playing against other players. So, yes, it, it is a new year, but World of Warships is a vastly different game. It's a new game in a way. I, I can't even say that's World of Warships anymore. And you know, may, Maybe they would have been better off uh, when they did all these major updates or had submarines to call it World of Warships 2.0. Kind of like uh, Warplanes did. Of course, Warplanes was an abject failure uh, and not even 2.0 could save it. Uh, World of Warships is doing fine. I, I surmise that it's going to continue to do fine just because it's bringing in new players. These new players have no issue with the way it is, and they might find it even more competitive, and they probably like all the spamminess because it keeps them on their toes and keeps their attention. But for us older players, you know, myself, those of us, and not even older in age, just players that have been around from the beginning, I mean, do you even recognize this game anymore? Do you like the direction that it has gone? Do you like all the super ships, submarines, aircraft carrier rework, HE spam, random gimmicks, captain skills that just keep blossoming and changing and having to redo your skills every now and then? I mean, are you really getting satisfaction out of the game at this point? Are you really enjoying what World of Warships has done, what it's become, and what it is? And all these ship lines and now destroyers that can launch uh, bomber planes and stuff like that, air attacks, and 
I mean, there's just so much crammed into it. It's kind of a sensory overload. But I, I like your take. Leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video, please. I'm interested to know what you think of the game right now. If you're still enjoying it, if you're not, let me know why. And, you know, as we kick off the uh, new year, I'm, I'm back at it. And, you know, I'm playing a little more. Hope you all are doing wonderful. Happy New Year to you all. I wish you all the best in this coming year. And I'll catch you all later. Zoop out.